Hi, I'm Carly McAvoy. I wanted to do a video to show you how to find measures of central tendency and variance on the TI-84 Plus calculator. I have a list of values in a problem here that I'm going to use today, and I've got all the steps that you want to go through on your calculator on screen if you'd like to see those written out, but I am going to go through those step by step, and then once we put that in there we'll see these results on the screen and I have defined what all, each of those mean over here and I'll say it again in the video but for some of my students might want to print out this and have this uh, handwritten version in class okay so let's take a look at the calculator and this is the TI-84 plus and so what I want to do is enter all those values and I have the list written here and I entered all of them except the last three because I don't think you need to see me enter values over and over again. But how you're going to get to that is you're going to push stat and well you're going to turn on the computer and I actually have that in the steps. Push stat and then hit enter and you're going to see a list and you can see my list starts with 69 and then 91, 234 and so forth. So I'm going to scroll down until I'm out of that down to where I think I ended at 334 and then the next value would be 222 according to my list. So let's say I put 221 and then 245 and then I was like oops I made a mistake at 221 it should have been 222. I can always go back up to whatever value I didn't like and hit delete. So I can delete that one using the DEL button don't like that one and I can go ahead if I want to keep them in order change this one to 222 and I'm just going to hit enter when I do that or I can hit the down arrow either one of those either enter at the bottom or the down arrow is going to put that into your table after 222 was 245 I'm going to hit enter and then zero I'm going to hit the down arrow just to show you it doesn't matter make sure that your your last value is in your table and not down here below it you want to make sure all those get in there now you have a complete all your data in there and you're going to hit second function quit to get out of that list and now i'm going to hit stat again and when i hit stat this time i'm going to use my right arrow to go over to calc which is calculate when to calculate something and we're going to do one variable stats and one variable stats is the first choice so you can just go ahead and hit enter. You could also hit one. Either way, it's going to get you to here. And what you see flashing here is it's flashing L1, which says we are looking at data in list L1. And that is where we put our data. So L1 is perfect. And then it has the frequency list. I went down arrow to get to that next thing, or I could have hit enter. But I don't have frequency here. That would be if I had um, some like 222 five times and 234 six times that would be frequency but all of our frequencies are one so I don't need to worry about doing that and I can go down one more time to calculate and then hit enter and it's going to give me these values and this is what I had on my document showing you what each of those means so we have x bar which is our mean we have the sum of all the values so if I added all these values up this is what I would get if I took the square of each value and then added that all up, this would give me this number. This is the standard deviation for a sample. This is a standard deviation for the population. This tells you the number of values that were in your list. So if you know you had 20 values and you got to here and it said 19, good thing you missed one. Go back and put it in, right? So that's kind of a nice thing to know. At this point, if I want to see anything else, I need to use my down arrow. And then you'll see that I have the minimum value which you can see here is zero. You have your first quartile, which is the 25% mark. That's gonna be 160. I have a video on the five number summary if you wanted to look at that. That's what we're into now and not those measures of center and variation. Although median is, the next one is the center point if you line them all up in order. And then you have your third quadrant, which is a 75% point. And then you have your max value, which is 386. So that's how you can do all of that. I do want to say that if you think you have v values in your table and you want to clear them all out before you start, you can always clear out your table of values by hitting uh, let's second function quit on this. And then if I do second function memory, you can see where I can go down here to number four 
I can either hit number four or scroll down there and I can say clear all list and if I hit that it's going to clear out my list. I don't really have a reason to do that now but you can always clear out list if you have a long list in there and you want to start fresh. You can clear all those out that way. All right that's it. Have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you next time.